And then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar and you leave it alone. I'm not sure you expected that to happen and neither did I. So let's try and explain what's happening. Electric fields apply forces to charges. Why does putting two transparent things on top of each other do something so strange when you turn it through 90 degrees? Welcome back and I've got another fun and unusual experiment for you today and if you're lucky you might just get this one to work at home. But before we start you'll notice that Laika the dog's not with us today. She's off on yet another one of her world travels and more of that at the end. So I did say you might be able to get this experiment to work at home and you actually only need three things. A really lightweight empty drinks can, a cloth and a ruler made of plastic. And I'm going to show you what we can do with these and the result is very strange indeed and we'll take some explaining. So I've probably picked the worst day of the year to demonstrate this experiment because it's raining outside and it's been wet for a few days. But let's try anyway. So I'm going to take the drinks can and lie it on its side on the desk. And then I've got the equivalent in the laboratory of a ruler. I've got a plastic rod here made of polythene. And I'm going to take a cloth or a piece of wool and I'm going to rub this really hard. And when I finish rubbing it, I'm just going to bring it very close to the can and see what happens. Now that's quite unusual. So I'll just very quickly demonstrate that again. So I've got the can on a fairly low friction surface. I'm going to rub the rod as much as I can. Bring it close to the can. And there we go. You'll notice when I did that, that it rolled when I didn't touch it. And it also rolled when I was touching the can too. Now that's going to take some explaining. Now you remember I said you might be able to get this to work at home. So I've got a ruler here. And I'll be totally honest with you, I've rubbed this ruler quite hard with the uh, cloth and there's an ever such a slight force there, but I'm struggling to get that one to work because it's a really wet day today. And that's the key to what's going on in this experiment. So time for a quick explanation of what's happening here. So when I bring the rod close to the metal can, it seems to attract it. And if you get any forces at all, you will always get attraction. So when I rubbed the rod, it became charged up. And when I touch it onto a Coulomb meter, you'll notice it became negatively charged. And this is the key to what's going on here. Electrons in the metal are free to move. If this is negative and I hold it close to the can, the negative charge in this will repel the electrons in the can. So the electrons will rush to this side of the can, leaving this side positive. And I think you all know that if you put a negative thing next to a positive thing, they'll attract. We've charged this one up by induction. But you might ask what happens if you rub a material, this is glass, and it becomes positive. Well, if you think about it, this is positive, the can is neutral, as we bring the positive rod close to the can, we attract electrons towards this edge because this attracts them being positive and electrons are negative. It leaves this side plus where the electrons have come from. They can flow freely through the metal to this side, which becomes negative and plus and negative will attract also. It's exactly the same process. We've charged the can by induction. And as soon as we take the rod away, the electrons go back to where they came from and the whole of the can remains neutral all over. So I hope you enjoyed that experiment. It's a very quick one, but quite an interesting one. Nothing to do with magnetism you will have seen. It's to do with charge and charging by induction. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon. 
and I look forward to seeing you then.